Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to The Sims 3. Today we're going to be checking out a really interesting mod that I was actually emailed uh, by the creator of and I just happened to see it and I was like, you know what, this is, this is actually really, really interesting. So it's a third person mod, which by the way, we should probably just jump into a house and check it out. Uh, oh, I want somewhere that has like a family. So, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So we can check out a few more because uh, different sims you can use it with. So essentially what this mod is, you can control your sims directly with uh, W, A, S, and D as you sort of go through. Let's get rid of that. Uh, so essentially, you jump into the game, you know, you just got your sims. There will be like a little pop-up that sort of intros the mod to you as well if you're using it for the first time. Uh, and it also recommends to have the uh, free will for selected sims disabled because otherwise if you're in first person trying to control sim, they'll just do their own thing still. So you press F1 on your keyboard and then you sort of get put into this, you get this nice little animation and then this pops up here, it says third person instructions. You are now controlling your sim in third person uh, for the first time. Use the following keys to move around. W, A, S, and D, shift to sprint, and then F1 to activate, deactivate third person. So pretty standard controls, which is great. Uh, so anyway, now that we're in third person, uh, you just hit W, A, S, and D, and then you literally like, well, hang on, I need to get away from this house. No, oh, okay. Yeah, so they, if you're near stairs, they'll sort of automatically go up them and use them. So you can sort of use it to control your sim everywhere. All right, so I'm using this. Uh, okay, we're trying to, I'm, I'm trying to go back down the stairs. Like I meant to do that, okay. So this is actually really, really cool. Like I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this actually exists in the game. Like, look at this. So you can just control your sim around. So when you're in first person, this sort of like fades away because I guess you don't need that as much. You can still just do everything as you would. So if I were to, even, even if I didn't want to control my sim, I could just say, go here. And then that, you know, your camera will just follow the sim along. And if I wanted to, I can just stop them mid-action and start going this way. But I believe if I stop, they'll continue trying to go to that. Yeah, they'll continue trying to do the action that you had. So if you did tell them to go somewhere, you might want to like cancel that because otherwise they'll keep trying to do it, even though you're trying to go a different direction. But basically, you sort of always take over. So if we go like this, hold down shift, we can just sprint around the town a little bit. So this just came out, like, I think a couple of days ago. Um... Well, it says, uh, I'm looking at the mod page now, which of course, I'll link this mod down below. If you want to get this, it'll be linked down below and I'll link uh, the creator's Twitter. Uh, it's just awesome. Really, really cool. So we're just running through town. Who needs cars when you can just run through town like this? Um, so obviously, because it's early days, there's some things where it, like, it could be uh, sort of polished up a little. Oh, hello. Polished up a little bit. But uh, the fact that this is even possible and that this works and that this is added into the... Okay, that's just annoying me because that's just the world being dodgy. But anyway, the road. <laughs> um, this is so cool. And this is where open world is super useful too because you can just run around the world go wherever you want. So this is, yeah, this is, I mean, it's basically the mod. If I jump over to another sim, if I press space bar, just like you normally would, you'll jump over to the other sim. Let's cancel this interaction for a second. So now I am the kid, which if I can... The fence really isn't helping me out here. If I can zoom in maybe. No, it's not close enough. Okay. Can I go now? I can't. <laughs> okay, this is, a, I can't, see. oh, now I can see, but no. Uh, actually, if I use the, the yeah, if I use period and comma keys, I can rotate, because using the, because um, I normally use middle mouse wheel to rotate, but that doesn't seem to really work in this view. But if you use period and comma, you can rotate the camera around. Oh, mysterious, oh, that that's right. I forgot that happened in this game. Also, I believe I muted all my sounds, because the sound controls weren't working in the map, but apparently they work here. So let me turn those back on. Yeah, that was actually, so I loaded up The Sims 3 just before, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, whenever you jumped into a lot, all this random stuff just started appearing. Alright, hey, I can't, okay, there we go, let's get out of here, I'm just trying to get out of this little fenced area. Yeah, so you can control your, you know, adults, uh, see it, like, teens, um, I think, what did it say? So it says, uh, includes all ages, it ranges from toddlers to elders, pets of all ages, uh, and occult sims like mummies, vampires, fairies, werewolves, and mermaids. Okay, well, having said that, I think we need to go to... The, not the main menu. Edit town. Uh, yeah, let's jump into creative sim. Let's get a toddler. Let's get like a, a cat. Oh. Oh. I should probably have... You know what? I prob... Is that... Was that... <laughs> that might have been something to do with the first person mod. 
<laughs> it's fine now though. Anyway, so I'm going to create a new family. We have the toddler, we have the cat and the dog, and, and we'll check it out. Now, it does say pets of all ages, and I know people love horses from The Sims 3, so we got to we got to try a horse. Let's just do one randomized there. Oh, beautiful. Look at this thing. Majestic. All right. So I got an adult sim, I got a toddler, I got a dog, a cat, and a horse. So that's pretty much uh, I guess we could try a colts, but I feel like it, it's going to be like the same thing. Oh, can you just randomize that? I don't care about traits. <laughs> I don't actually want to. I'm not actually keeping these these like Sims. I don't really care. Shine. Oh, hang on. There. there. <laughs> that household picture. The dog like. I guess playfully getting ready to pounce or something. And then the horse. Look at the horse's mouth. It's just like. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's go. So the other thing about this mod actually is it is a pure scripting mod. So it sort of just uh, jumps into the game. It doesn't override anything. It just adds additional functionality, which is super cool. So it's like really easy to add in. You just chuck it in the folder, in the packages folder, and then you're good to go. Now, where do we want to live? Because it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, so here we are. Obviously, we've done adult sims. Let's try out the toddler. So if I go F1 on the toddler, how, I mean, this is a brand new toddler. So what can I actually, oh my God. <laughs> that is actually all- wait, what happens if I shift? Oh, okay, there's no sprinting, I guess because he's- Maybe when they learn to walk in that, you can- Oh my- <laughs> Wait, I mean they can just like crawl across town. Dude, this is awesome. Uh, this is amazing. This is so cool. <laughs> I like how he's just like, boop, boop. Alright, where's, uh, who we got next? We got that guy. I wanna go to the horse. No, you know what, let's leave horse to last. Where's the cat? Cat. Now, one thing that would be really- Okay, no, leave me alone. Stop. Damn it, stupid sim. Leave me alone. I am a cat and I want to run around town. Oh yeah. Now, if there was a cool way to add like some sort of jumping animation so you can start like jumping over stuff. This is so cool. If you've ever wanted to control your characters on The Sims on PC, this is the way to do it. I mean, Sims 4 first person mode is cool, but the one thing that that was definitely missing was the ability to actually just, you know, control your Sims, like W, A, S, and D, and that's exactly what this does! It's cool! It's so good! Alright, where's the dog? I mean, I'm gonna- I'm not, Look, it's gonna work, because everything else has. Oh, hello. Call babysitter. Wait. Uh, sure. I'm, where are you going? What do you mean, cannot be left alone here? Oh, is it because I, like, walk the toddler off the lot? Oh, you're back home. Okay, I don't know. That was weird. Anyway, back to the dog. No, leave me alone. What is your name? I just ran him at Chico, Chico Booker. All right, let's go Chico Booker. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so cool. Can I go through the bush? I don't because it, it's got basically the same. Nah, it's got the same sort of um, routing as, as if you were, you know, actually just telling your sim to go somewhere. So you, you can't just go through walls and that. Though, having said that, a no clip mode would be pretty cool. Uh, just run through stuff. You know what we need now is like, I don't know. What do, what do we need now? Just, dude, this is cool though. This is I love this. I would I would I would say first person, but then I I don't think you need first person. That's what I was like. Oh, that's what we need. No, I don't think I don't think we really need first person. I think just being out of control Sims like this is a really cool experience. Hey, dude. Oh, can I talk to people with this dog? Is that something I can do? Where is someone? Are you thinking about? The ball. Oh, here's his- here's Mort- is that Mortimer? Hang on. Mortimer Goth? It is. Friendly! Hello! Wait, what am I doing? Beg. Hello! <laughs> Dude, this is so good. Give me food, you little jerk. Food, please. Hello. Hello! Do you like me? <gasps> yeah! He's got a- uh, Who just carries treats around? Apparently Mortimer Goth does. Yeah. Can I attack it mean? Chase. <laughs> you gave me a treat, now I'm gonna destroy you. Oh man, this is cool though. So this mod, as- whoops. As per the description of, of on the actual mod page, which again, like I've, I said, is linked down below. It's like, what does this mod do? This mod allows you to step in the shoes of your sims and see the world through their perspective. This kid's telling me off. How dare you? I'm out of here. Uh, through their perspective, adding a whole new layer of immersion to your regular gameplay. The press of F1, the button F1, you can seamlessly switch between normal mode and third person mode. We, while in third person, you can control your sim using the keyboard and move them around the world. Uh, yeah, so it's like pretty cool. So it says the entire locomotion system, which is basically just the, you know, the way they move, um, was built from the ground up for third person. This means that it, the gameplay is as fluid and seamless as ever. Your auto, it seems to automatically go through doors, climb stairs, swim in pools. That's what we got to do. We got to try swimming. 
So, oh yeah, we haven't even tried that. I forgot about that. Uh, this is why reading is good sometimes. Uh, so we'll just get a pull out over here. Oh, I was going to say I might need to do mother load. There we go. Uh, beautiful. Uh, yeah, swim in pools uh, and even swim in the ocean. Oh, we're going to try that too. All right, leave me alone. Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me. Move, kid. Play with your creepy doll in your own time. I don't care. All right, so, okay, I can't see. <laughs> okay, when <laughs> when going through walls, it gets a little tough because you can't see. And then he sort of came back in again. There we go. That's better. All right. In the pool. So if I do this, is he going to go in? Can can Sims 3 Sims get in pools without a ladder? I actually don't remember. I mean, he's standing over it. Whoops. I keep pressing, the, I keep pressing Q and E to rotate, but it's actually these buttons. Um, I might need to actually get a pool ladder. But can they? Let me just see if I do the interaction. I was gonna say, did they? Yeah, they can just jump. Okay, well, anyway, let's try it without. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we can absolutely control it in the pool. But I'm gonna assume to do the seamless uh, transition, we probably need a pool ladder. Which makes sense to me. Oh, can we do diving in? Oh, where, okay, where is it? Oh, it like places weirdly. So I'm not used to this game, man. I'm not used to this at all. Alright, put that there. So. If we now go- oh, hang on, I'm gonna go back to F- Whoa! Hang on. Oh, damn it, not Q and E. Okay, so- <laughs> Gotta get used to this. Okay, let's get- okay, can the camera- Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is he getting out- okay, I think he just seem- okay. He did actually seamlessly get out of the pool just then, that's what happened. Oh no, that's- are we inside now? Or are we still outside? Oh no. Okay, oh, okay. I think we may have broken it. <laughs> Hang on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get let's get out of this. This is the okay. We get it. We can swim in pools. Let, let's go to the ocean though. I want to try that out. Oh god. All right, here we are by the ocean. Let's go. Oh, call babysitter. Yeah, sure. Call. Yeah, sure. I don't care. This is why toddlers are annoying. Okay, so I'm running into the. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. I reckon oceans work better than pools because it just seems easier. <laughs> it seems to make more. Oh, hello. Oh, damn, I keep pressing Q and E to rotate. That's something that I really want in, um, in Sims in general. Is just, just, I don't know, key bindings. Like, there's so many, you know how, like, there's so many PC games where you can customize which keys do what? Sims has never had that. It's really annoying. It's like, I don't know why. Just give me the ability to customize keys. <laughs> Obviously, they're not going to add it to Sims. Oh, okay, hello, we're back home. Um, <laughs> all right, where is, uh, here we go. Let's try the horse. We haven't done this yet. Oh, leave me alone. Sniff hand. I thought... Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Dude, you can now live out all of your horse fantasies. <laughs> I can now be a horse in The Sims. Yes! Dude, can we do um, a Let's Horse? Let's play where we can only play third person in a horse. I mean, we have seemed to have frozen up here. I'm not sure what's happened. I don't know. Oh, no, no, there we go. Okay. Uh, that might have just been The Sims 3 being The Sims 3 more than <laughs> than the mod. I don't know. It's been so long since I played this game, though. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. One thing I do notice, though, is if I zoom out and then... If I keep going forward, we're okay. But as soon as I try to, like, go to... Like, if I turn, then the camera zooms back in right onto the horse's butt. Which, don't get me wrong, it's a nice butt. But, like, I want to be able to see more, you know? Dude, this is so cool, though. <laughs> Can we do a rags the riches of the horse? Favorite music. Wait, what? Celebrity. Oh, you know what? It's because I've got, um... Oh, it's because I was pressing shift to sprint. And I got testing cheats on. I was like, what is this horse able to do? Hello. Uh, beg for carrots. Carrots, please. I'm doing horse rags to riches. Okay, we've gone right... <laughs> right on horse butt. Oh man, though. This is good, though. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, so this mod only just came out. So this is pretty much, I would assume, just the beginning of what this mod is going to be able to do. But for the beginning and for the, the, the fact that this just came out, it's pretty incredible. You can control any pet, any sim, any age, any occult, you know, just like that. So it's... And they're not wrong. It is super seamless. Like, now I'm back out of it. F1, I'm back into it again. I'm back and running around as a horse. Like, it's really cool. Ooh. I mean, sometimes it's, a, it's a, maybe maybe it's better to look at the horse butt sometimes and not the not the side. <laughs> All right, where's my where's my oh hello, 
horse friend. Okay, that's that's why I didn't really like horses in The Sims 3, though. It's like, as soon as you had horses, there was just like 20 running around the world. That's stupid. Even to the future portal. Can I... Can I use the portal as a horse? Can I just like go through it? Where is the portal? Didn't we get one? I thought we got a random portal. Hello. <laughs> Alright, well, that is the Sims 3 third person mod. Really, really cool. Again, it's linked down below. Do go check it out and uh, show the creator some love because this is epic. Um, stuff like this is really cool. And that's what, something I really love about The Sims as well is just, it's like, it's such a, such a, like, a active community of modding and all that. And like, I know I don't personally use that many mods uh, most of the time. And that's just a choice I, you know, I made just because it's, it's easier not to, especially when like sharing stuff. Um, on YouTube and that, but when I see someone like this, I'm like, I gotta play this and I gotta share this because this is super cool. <sighs> All right, thanks so much, you guys. Let me know what you think about this down below. Uh, but I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.